This uh, pile of poncho in my lap is a new poncho I just got on Amazon. It's called a winter poncho. And I'm going to demonstrate how I put it on. First thing I do when I put something like this on is tilt so I can lean forward when I need to and not lose my balance. And push the controller out of the way so I don't slide it. I would define the back. And hopefully get it all lined up right. This is the zipper, this is the front. And after I have it oriented right. It does have a thumb ring on the zipper. I unzip it enough to make it easy to get on over my head. And I slide my arm through the sleeves. I haven't had this very long, so I'm still wor I'm still working on my technique and being able to find the sleeves easily as part of it. And I throw it over over my head. And I use my transfer handle for balance when I lean forward to pull it down in the back. Which isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be to do. I think the back can be a little bit longer. Tuck the side in. We check the back on the other side. And it covers covers my legs. And when it's cold, when it's cold, really cold outside. Um, I have a very thick fleece jacket I wear under it that I went out one day to the grocery and back. It was 20 degrees outside and uh, I had my mittens and my hat on with it. And the other thing it has is straps down here for when it's windy. quite as easy to find on dark pants. So. I think I did get that on by myself. And there's one on the other side too. If you've ever gone out in a poncho in your chair in a windy day, you can have the poncho blown up, not just blown up, but blown up in front of your face, obscuring your vision, which is just really not cool if you're crossing the street when that happens. Or one day I was crossing a bridge, the sidewalk on a bridge, and um, Poncho blew up in front of my face. I mean, it was up here and I st I'd stop dead and tried to, you know, pull it down as quick as I would because, you know, when you're up high on a bridge and your vision gets obscured, those, those are really helpful. And uh, um, I'm sure if I work with it much longer, I'll get them on smoother, but this is how it looks. 
and um, I think after I get used to pulling it down in the back and get that get that done better it'll work really well um, there's plenty of room in here for it for another layer when it's really cold and it does have a hood uh, I, I got this on Amazon I'll try to remember to put a link in there's a pocket here and I haven't had it a month yet I wish I'd have gotten it sooner uh, okay that's it today